I will admit that I am partial to the odd alcoholic beverage and one of the things that I think really epitomizes human creativity is our ability to make alcohol from such a wide range of different raw materials. Pretty much every fruit has, has at one point or another in human history been a source of a beverage and of course this one is one of the ones that is most popular in Southern Africa. This is the wild medler Vangaria in Fausta, Munjiro as it's known in the local language. A long noble tradition of use as a base material for all sorts of different moonshines. How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. I am out here in the bush just having a look around and I came across this magnificent specimen of a wild medler and thought I would show you around it. So this is part of the Rubiaceae family, the Gardenia family. Uh, there is another genus very similar to this in the same family, Vangariopsis. And the way you tell them apart is that the leaves on the Vangaria are a little bit larger, also slightly lighter in color, and a little bit hairier. Uh, so that's the real giveaway. Um, this tree, so the leaves are simple, opposite. Uh, it's a nice smooth margin. You can tell them very quickly because they're often covered in a sort of a fungal growth that, le that leaves the leaves um, quite scarred and marked. That's very typical uh, of the wild medlar. The fruit are, well, they're green when they're unripe as they are at the moment and round uh, about two centimeters across. Uh, you can see quite clearly the uh, rem remains of the calyx on the end is a little circle. When they ripen, they turn brown. And at that point, if they're out on a tree, you will see flocks of birds coming for them. Very popular. Make a wonderful addition to anyone's garden, this tree, because of that. Uh, so the, the leaves are eaten not by cattle, interestingly, but they are eaten by goats and a, and a wide range of wild mammals. The fruit are very popular with monkeys, baboons, uh, bush babies, squirrels. And when they fall to the ground, uh, a very common visitor every night to the underneath of a wild medlar tree is the bush pig. Come and see what they can get from it. So these fruit are eaten by humans uh, when they're raw. They're not that tasty and they're not that nutritious, but they're perfectly palatable. Much, much, much tastier when they're made into an alcoholic beverage. Uh, the nutritional profile is not that exciting, but the carbohydrate content, the sugar content, is obviously what means you can make a distillate from it. It is uh, traditionally consumed just as a fresh fruit, also pound it up and mix with a bit of water into a kind of a juice and then it is made into a variety of different uh, traditional beverages and even today you can find if you're traveling in parts of South Africa you can find uh, distilled alcohol made from the wild medlar readily available. Also the fruit are used in jams and sauces uh, a particularly common use is to make a kind of substitute apple sauce made from wild medlar. Uh, there are a lot of medicinal uses traditionally for this tree. Um, the leaves and the bark have been used to make decoctions to treat malaria and pneumonia. Uh, leaf decoctions also used for as a cure for coughs. In veterinary medicine, um, quite common use by farmers uh, is a leaf poultice applied to tick bites. So I think I have more or less described all the fun. Unfortunately, I can't give you any of the distilled spirit for you to taste from this tree, but just to recommend it highly as a garden tree, if you ever wanted to plant, they grow really easily. In fact, it's one of the trees that has the name Live Long because it just does grow so readily. Uh, they don't grow tall, only about seven, eight meters high. So they're all more sort of shrubby than a full size tree but they do attract loads and loads of birds to your garden. So a wonderful tree to have. All right, guys, I've enjoyed sharing this with you. There's plenty more. If you've liked this, you can see plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook and Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. Hit subscribe and you will never miss out. All right, I am off to go catch some more trees. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.